Hello and welcome to another Cactus Hill Adventure. Today we're going to be going by Mule Canyon Trailhead. And this is basically in the blanding area. They're circled on the right of the screen. Uh, this is going to be a little different. It's going to be a taste of the Mule Canyon Trailhead and House on Fire. Here's the trail you're going to take. Uh, you'll get it off of Highway 95. There's the House on Fire in the upper left. And you're going to be taking Arch Canyon Road, which is also known as Arch Canyon Overlook Road. It's not too far back to the trailhead, maybe less than a mile or so. And uh, we tried to go on this hike, but it was so muddy uh, from the last few days of rain when we got there that uh, we couldn't go on it. So basically this is going to be for informational purposes. Uh, here we're gonna we're coming back. We went to Arch Canyon uh, Road and found some ruins back in that area. But this is coming back to Highway 95, and you can see there's plenty of parking. The trailhead is just past that uh, Toyota there, uh, and uh, that's where it starts. Um, so just kind of giving you a look of the area, so you'll be familiar with it when you get there. It's probably just a mile, mile and a half off of Highway 95. It's a good road all the way through. And here's the entrance to Trailhead. Now it's kind of steep walking down into the trail, but it's if you take a walking stick, you'll be fine. And here again is the trail. This is from trailsoffroad.com. And they have a neat feature that you can preview the trail. And we're gonna kind of look at it from a Google Earth's perspective here. There, the blue dot there is where you start, and it's walking in a canyon. So be aware if there's rain or it's, uh, you know, don't go down it because that's uh, it's going to be uh, a lot of water in there. So it's about a mile or so back there. Here we're tracing it back to the start, so it's about two miles altogether. So uh, you know, it's a nice hike, and here's a couple of pictures of it. Beautiful. If you go in the uh, kind of late morning that's when you're going to see this effect depending on what season it is and again there's the house on fire now this is house on fire plus if you continue walking on the trail there'll be some more ruins uh, after that uh, take your binoculars because they're going to be cliff dwellings and uh, you know do that so here's a final look at mule canyon kiva and the Mule Canyon Trailhead and Mule Canyon Cave Towers and the House on Fire. That's all you can do in one day. Uh, but that's basically the information for how to get there is in my write-up. Well, anyway, I'll uh, include a link to a video by the Trek Planner. He actually hiked the canyon, so you get a view of that. And remember, as I always tell you, you won't know if you don't go. Thanks for watching, sincerely appreciated.